Amazon's mini canvas coated semi sentient spherical echoes got an update this year. The little speaker now sounds better than ever, or at least that's the claim. It comes in a few different flavours, but we've been testing the Echo Dot 5th Gen in both standard and clock variants. I'm Cam Bunton from Pocalint, and this is our review. And if you do like it, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and tap the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any more. Now, Amazon offers three distinct variants of the Echo Dot 5th Gen. There's the standard model, the kids edition, and the Echo Dot with a clock, and for the most part, they're all the same. Internal hardware and smart capabilities are identical. The kids version comes with a colourful animal-themed design and access to kids plus content plus parental controls. Echo Dot with Clock has a simple LED display hidden beneath the canvas on the front and displays the time 24-7, but can now also show song titles when music is playing or even a weather icon. The Clock version definitely has appeal. It's been sat on my side table acting as a bedside clock since I set it up, and having that dual functionality is very useful. If I ever wake up at night, I can see what time it is without having to pick up a phone. Plus, the Echo has a built-in light sensor and uses its ambient light level measurement to determine how bright or dim that LED display should be, then adjusts the brightness to suit. The end result is a clock that's not too bright so it doesn't keep us up at night or disturb us while we're sleeping. And as I've mentioned, it's not just a clock anymore either. When you're playing music, it scrolls across the name of the song when it first starts playing, and if you ask it for a weather forecast, you'll get a temperature and weather icon displayed too. Otherwise, the three models feature the same shaping, materials, and design. That means you get a small globe-shaped device with a flat underside and a fabric-covered upper. It's essentially the same as the previous generation and is made from 50% recycled plastic and 95% recycled fabric. Likewise, the cardboard packaging that it comes in is 99% recycled as well. Now, each unit has four physical buttons on the top, indicated by four raised icons. There's a plus and a minus for volume control, a mute button, and a multifunction button that you press manually to get Alexa's attention, without having to use your voice. Now, there is another invisible control. You can tap the top of the unit to play or pause music, or to snooze your alarm in the morning. The only thing I found with it was that it doesn't always seem to respond every single time. Like, it's sensitive to how hard or precisely where you tap it. Sometimes we found it activating when we were just reaching to touch the physical buttons, so there's some improvement to be done there. Another slight negative is that there's no 3.5mm port on the Echo Dot anymore either. It was quite handy on old models because it meant being able to plug the Echo Dot into a proper sound system and get much better audio using the Echo Dot as a music source or just having the smart assistant without having to use the small speaker sound. Now, either it's not there because Amazon is very confident in the new sound abilities of this new Echo Dot, or nobody really used them this way. Either way, I'm a little sad to see it go. It was very useful. Now, the most noticeable and perhaps the only real upgrade with the fifth generation is the audio quality. Amazon built a new speaker system into its smallest smart sphere, enhancing the bass without losing much in the way of clarity in the vocals and high-end frequencies. It's definitely an improvement on the previous Echo Dot. You get a fuller spectrum of audio colours, and it definitely seems better balanced with better vocals, better separation between high and low frequencies, and a good amount of bass. Now, of course, a lot of your speaker's audio depends on the room that you're in and the makeup of that room. What it's sitting on, for instance, and how many hard surfaces like wooden floors and tiles you might have in that room. So in some instances, you might find you want to tweak the EQ so you don't have too much bass that's hurting your ears or reverberating around the room too much and making it harder to hear the vocals or the high notes. In these instances, you can make use of the EQ controls in the Alexa app. Here you can adjust the treble, the middle and the bass frequencies to suit your preferences or the room that it's in. Managing expectations is always a good thing to do when you're looking at a relatively affordable small speaker. Because of course, if you want the absolute best quality sound with textured, detailed and responsive bass, you're not going to be looking at an Echo Dot. It still has that tendency to go a little boomy in the loud and low bass frequencies, losing a bit of colour and texture. But it's still very good for its size and its price point. Now, in my opinion, the best way to enjoy the Echo Dot is in a pair with another Echo Dot. As part of the setup process, if you have the Alexa app, it can detect that two dots are ready to set up, and you get the option to set them up as a paired system. It's simple to do, and once it's done, you get a stereo system. So whenever you ask Alexa to play music on either of the units that are paired, it'll play it in stereo from the two speakers. So it's actually really cool having one on one side of the bed and one on the other. If you have a Fire TV stick, you can even set them up to play audio from the TV dongle in a stereo pair beneath your TV. With my own setup, the experience was so much more immersive and expansive than it would be if we only had the one speaker. 
you get the full stereo effect of it when playing albums or tracks with lots of layers split between right and left channels. As an example, Being Funny in a Foreign Language by the 1975 is a great one to look at. So many of those songs have wind instruments or guitars playing off each other on the right and the left sides, sometimes with a call and response element to it. So unless you've got stereo, you don't really get that effect. The only downside of Amazon speakers is that they're not equipped with AirPlay or Chromecast support for easy audio beaming from your iOS or Android device. However, if you use Amazon Music on your phone or Spotify, that's not an issue. With those, you can easily choose to play music from a specific echo or group of echoes. Apple Music users will be reliant on voice commands or using the Alexa app, which is a little limited when it comes to music controls. Moving on to the smart capabilities, and unlike some of the bigger echo models, you don't get Zigbee Smart Home Hub built in a standard on the Echo Dot, so it can't automatically detect smart home products on your network. That's not to say they're not smart, because they have all the usual Alexa skills, because Alexa supports so many different smart home products from a plethora of third-party manufacturers. Even smaller ones you've never heard of, you can control pretty much anything with voice commands whether that's your robot vacuum, your lights, or your heating. In our testing over the past few weeks, the new Echo Dots seem more responsive than previous models too. There's less of a delay between saying the wake word and the blue light on the base lighting up to acknowledge that you've said something. That's the kind of performance that makes using them much more convenient. And it's something I've noticed on the new Echo Studio as well, which I've also been testing alongside it. So if you want to see a video review on that, please do let me know in the comments down below. The Echo Dots also have a built-in thermometer, which you can use as a trigger for different routines. So for instance, if you have a fan or a heater plugged into a smart connected plug, you can set a routine that switches those on or off when the Echo reads a specific temperature that you deem to be too hot or too cold. It could come in really handy in the summer and in the cold of the winter. In the end, of all Amazon's Echo devices, I think the Echo Dot is the easiest one to recommend to pretty much anyone. It's got most of the same capabilities as its bigger, more expensive siblings, and with this year's improved speaker, the sound quality is better than it ever has been. The lack of the three and a half millimeter port on the back is a bit of a shame as is the lack of built-in Zigbee Hub for automatic smart home device detection and control. But the latest Dot is a capable smart home companion and speaker, and it's particularly good in a pair with another Echo Dot. Despite a couple of weaknesses, the Echo Dot is still a great entry into the Alexa smart speaker ecosystem, and one that we wholeheartedly recommend to anyone looking for a small Echo. If you want to find the best price of Echo Dot or Echo Dot with Clock or the Echo Dot Kids version, Use our links in the description box below. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on social media. If you did like this video, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe and tap the notification bell. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.